Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Today we are going to do weekly technical analysis in gold. We will start our analysis from the monthly time frame then slowly go down to the lower time frames. I want to start from the monthly time frame so that we can understand the overall price action from the higher time frame to understand whether it is forming any sort of patterns and whether it is showing any sort of trend reversal or trend continuation. We have to understand the overall price action from the higher time frame so that we can decide on your future trade activities. Let us start with our analysis. I am in monthly time frame now. When we look at the price action in monthly time frame, previously the price had gone up to the level of which was around 1920, then we had seen a bearish trend reversal. And currently when we notice a price action, it had gone higher than the previous high. So from this comparison, we understand that the bullish trend is still there because it has broken the previous high in monthly time frame. And the highest it has gone was around 2067. It is not the exact value, but it was around 2067 or 2071-72 range. So the price action has tested these levels several times after which the trend reversal had happened. So these levels will be very important support level when the price action goes up and trends back. So we will mark this level as a support level. So this value around 1794 is going to be acting as a very strong support when the price action retraces. And when we look at the price action in the past, it has gone up retraced again went up tested the same level then trend reversal had happened and currently also when we notice a price action from here you can notice that there was a consolidation and we had a retracement also so this is where the actual bullish trend started so from here it started on the bullish trend then retracement happened and then it has gone on a bullish trend tested the same level twice so when we look at the past price action over here we can expect a bearish trend reversal and when we look at the current price action more closely so this is the highest level it has gone and retracement happened again it went up to the level of 1924 then retracement happened again it bounced back and tested the same level where it tested previously so it has formed a similar to one double bottom pattern which shows that there is going to be a trend reversal you can already notice that only the wigs have tested and the whole body closing happened below this support level of 1920. So we can already see that the price cannot sustain above this level in monthly time frame. And we are seeing this level which is around 1920 is acting as a very strong resistance for now in the monthly time frame. Even when we assume this price action to be as a double top pattern we are seeing a BR is trend reversal and also when we think about the price action as a double bottom pattern also we are seeing a BR is trend reversal. So we have the confirmation from the double top pattern and double bottom pattern for the BR is trend reversal. And when we look at the overall trend of the price action from the monthly time frame I have drawn a support line you can clearly notice that the price action from here it started its bullish trend went up to the level of 1912 then a bearish trend reversal happened again it went on a bullish trend and tested level of 2076 then i am expecting a bearish trend reversal as long as this support line or the trend line is holding we can expect a bullish trend to continue let us analyze the price action in daily time frame i am in daily time frame now when we look at the past price action in daily time frame from here it started its bullish trend it went up then retracement happened again went on a bullish trend again retracement happened again went on a bullish trend then retracement happened again it went on a very strong bullish trend then the retracement started it retraced up to the level of 1981 then the bullish trend reversal happened again it fell further and took support at the level of 1917 so looking at the past price action when going on a bullish side also it stopped over here when it is retracing also it is stopping at the same level. These levels will be acting as a very important resistance levels 
in the future price action also so considering the current price action we can expect a further fall then to retest on this level then to come down again retest again come down on a bearish trend so these are all the price action we are predicting looking at the past price action this is not a confirmation on the retracement so if the price action retraces we can expect this whole area to act as a very strong support zone because looking at the past price action when the price action tried to break this resistance level of 1879 you can notice that there was a strong consolidation then the bearish trend reversal happened then it started on a bullish trend and also when the price action tried to break this resistance zone you can notice that it has consolidated then went on a bearish trend reversal so whole area had acted as a very strong resistance zone so when the price action retraces this whole area will be acting as a very strong support zone so the price action has to break this support level of 1879 in order to continue its bearish trend reversal and when we look at the candlestick formation from here it started its bullish trend went up to the height of 1973 then bearish trend reversal happened then took support at the level of 1879 then it went on a very strong bullish trend and tested the level of 2075 then retracement happened and took support around the level of 1879 again retracement happened tested the resistance level of 1945 and it is on a bearish trend reversal so looking at the price action it is forming similar to one head and shoulder pattern having the left shoulder over here and right shoulder over here and this level of 1879 will be acting as a very strong support zone or the neck level for the head and shoulder pattern only when the price action break this neck level we can expect a further fall and next level of support in daily time frame is going to be around 1794 so if it is a confirmation on the head and shoulder pattern still we can expect a further fall in this currency pair on the bearish side this analysis is based on the head and shoulder chart formation and if the ukraine russia war tension still continues this chart pattern cannot be formed properly then we can expect a bullish trend reversal to happen so this values within this red color boxes are the support and resistance levels for daily time frame and the values in blue color boxes are the support and resistance levels in monthly time frame when we look at the trend of the market in daily time frame i am drawing a channel pattern i have taken the highest level it has gone we can notice that currently the price action is trading within this channel pattern it has broken over here but it has taken support on this channel pattern support line so when we look at the price action in daily time frame it is still in a very strong bullish trend only when it breaks this support area between 1890 and 1880 we can expect a further fall in this currency pair let us do the analysis in hourly time frame i am in hourly time frame now when we look at the price action in hourly time frame i am drawing a trend line when we look at the direction of the trend it is going on a very nice down trend this line is acting as a very strong resistance line the price action has to break this resistance line in order to start its bullish trend reversal and the price action has tested this bullish channel pattern support line once and it is on a retracement to retest on this bullish channel pattern support line when it breaks this support line also we have the daily time frame support area it has to break this in order to continue its bearish trend wait for it to break this resistance line in order to go on a bullish side trade or wait for it to break this support area which is around 1892 in order to go on a bearish side trades let us mark the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame so the values in green color boxes are the support and resistance levels in hourly time frame currently the price action is trading within this resistance and support level wait for it to give a breakout on the bullish side or on the bearish side then you can go on a directional trade let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame when we look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame it was on a very nice bullish trend it tested the resistance line on the trend line from the hourly time frame and it is on a retracement 
we already know that this whole area is acting as a very strong resistance zone from the daily time frame currently the price action has broken this resistance zone and it is on a retracement on the bearish side next level of support can be around 1905 which is from the hourly time frame and it is also trading within this bullish channel pattern from the daily time frame the price action has to break this bullish channel pattern support line and also the higher time frame support levels in order to continue with bearish trend currently in 30 minutes time frame also the price action is consolidating within this support line and the resistance line from the higher time frame let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this yellow color boxes are the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame currently the price action is in a downtrend only when the price action break this resistance area from the higher time frame we can expect a bullish trend reversal let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame i'm in 5 minutes time frame now when we analyze the price action in 5 minutes also i'm drawing a trend line or the resistance line over here currently the price action is in a very nice downtrend it has tested this resistance line and bounced back again it is trying to retest on this resistance line as long as this resistance line is holding we can expect a bearish trend to continue in this 5 minutes time frame let us mark the support and resistance levels for 5 minutes time frame so the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 5 minutes time frame currently the price action is in a very nice downtrend that's all the analysis for today thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends